Welcome back. I'm going to do two more videos this week on the Unify UVC G3. This is the first one and it is how to do a live stream directly from the camera to YouTube. And then once you actually start reading through this thread, you'll see there are Facebook instructions there. And anywhere that you could push this stream to, you're going to be able to do that. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to unjoin our G3 from the NVR, put it back in standalone mode. Now you can have both, but there's a little different configuration. And this particular camera that you're seeing is actually going to travel around the state and possibly the country with me and do live streams all over the place. So I'm going to have it in standalone mode. So we'll go to standalone mode, then I'll show you this, this link. You can actually see it here. I will link to this in the description below and then I'm going to show you how to log into YouTube and get your stream name and key. Now there are uh, some references on here but I'm just going to do, do this all-inclusive video real quick. So the first thing we're going to do, you remember that we had our G3 so we're going to log into this and I'm going to go down. Yep, You can see there's the green screen we're going to go down and we are going to put this guy back in standalone. So it says switching from Unify Video to standalone mode while the camera is managed by Unify Video may result in the de device being readopted. Please log into the Unify. So the first thing we've got to do, I guess, is we're going to go to Unify here. And we are going to unmanage this here unmanage and I'm gonna tell it to just remove everything because I don't have any of the recordings that I did that you've seen I've already saved somewhere else so then that just leaves our G2 in the lab that is managed so we'll log out of this we'll go back over here and we'll make sure Let's see if it changed anything. I don't think it should have. It's funny, I didn't click save on that, I didn't think. So we'll make sure it's standalone and then save it. And now the changes have been saved, so this guy's back in standalone mode. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm actually going to hop over to this YouTube uh, channel. My kids are developing a gaming gaming channel and trying to figure out what they're wanting to do with that. So <clears throat> we're going to use their channel. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to log you're going to log in and you're going to go to the live streaming and you're going to go to stream now. You may have to verify your account, which usually includes a text or a call to a phone number. So once you go through the verification, then you can do the live streaming. And if you look at the link provided, the one really important part that they talk about is the stream name key. And you don't want to give this out. You do want to keep this private because if somebody gets this, then they can just start live streaming to your channel. So you're going to see me put in this key, but there is an option after we reveal it. There's an option to reset it and roll that key. And so I will do that. So we've got the camera back to default. We've just got the date and time and then this custom message. So we'll log out of this guy. We need an SSH client. So we'll get that up here. But we're going to log into YouTube. We're going to go to the stream now. We're, you're going to go through the verification if you haven't done that. Then you're going to scroll down to where it says encoder setup. And right here it says stream name key. You're going to reveal this. We are going to copy this. And then once we're done, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to hit reset. And that's going to roll that stream key so nobody can stream to this channel. So we've got the current key copied. So now, the next thing I'm going to do is so that I don't forget key. I'm going to paste it in here temporarily. 
And I'm going to come back over to the directions here. And I'm going to copy the command from Ubiquity. Paste that in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn word wrap off because sometimes that screws things up. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this series of X's with my key. It's very important that the spacing stays the same. So you can see we've just replaced it. So now once we copy and paste this into the camera, we sh the stream should come up and we'll take a look at that. But here's note is that the stream is not persistent. So anytime you reboot the camera, you will have to put this command back in any of the cameras. Another thing to note is that the cameras must be at firmware 3.2 or newer. All right, so we'll go look at our live stream here. It says it's offline. So we're going to bring this up. We're going to SSH into the camera. I do suggest that you do not use the default username and password. Always change the default username and password for your hardware. In this example, I am using the default, but I wanted to make sure that you know Please change that. So we're going to accept the key, UBNT, UBNT. Now we've got a prompt at the camera. So now we're going to take this whole line where we replace those X's with our key name. And we're going to paste this in. And then we're going to hit enter. And you're going to see a bunch of text scroll if this works. Yep, there it goes. Now we're going to return to a prompt. And now if we hop back over here, You'll see that we've got green for the stream health, and it says that the stream is starting, and we are live. It says the internet can totally see you now to stop, use your encoder. And there it is. So this is streaming right now to the H5 gaming channel, to the live, the live uh, stream. You see we've been going for 20 seconds. This is, this is pretty awesome. So Facebook also has this feature. I'm sure other sites have it. But this is it. And then if I want to stop it, I can... One way I could do it real quickly is I could roll this key. The other way to do it is to reboot the camera or to actually stop the camera. And if I think if you scroll through here, uh, UBNT Kent actually gave us some further commands to work with this. And everybody's asking how can we make it, you know, how can we make it automatically do that? So here I asked, you know, is there a way to see the streams and even delete them? So this is where UBNT Kent came back and said, you know, we can list those. So if we bring this back up and we put this in, it will show us the stream. So you can see it there. And then we can even remove it. So what we're going to do when we remove it, I'm going to have it up here. And I'm going to paste this in and hit enter. And in a minute, we should see our stream go down. Or not. Nope, there it goes. Offline. I'm just impatient. I think you, you've noticed that uh, over the last couple of videos. I do get a little impatient. But that's it. That's how you live stream to YouTube. So please give a thumbs up. If you like the video, please subscribe. Please comment and share. I will put the link to the video or to this uh, Ubiquity community page in the description. And we'll see you at the next video.